woke up to some really, really nice news. My, um, I have two friends, uh, Katrin and Alex, they just had a little son. So, way congratulations guys. I'm so happy for you and I can't wait to see the little one. I just got another uh, very interesting thing as well. Okay, another baby being born, but no, actually a baby being born. My brand, which is The Swede. And this brilliant agency uh, from Sweden called Frankly Media. Frankly Media, do check them out. Uh, they've just sent me uh, some really nice stuff. So this is some stuff uh, that I really like because uh, I wanted an avatar and I wanted the logo to kind of have something yellow and blue but also with some kind of an American touch because that is where I want to try to do my comedy. And these ones I really like with the uh, logo together with the avatar. So yeah, amazing job from from the crew to everyone who's done this. I'm so uh, I'm so thankful, and uh, I think you all did an amazing job. So pew, high five from New York. I am sitting and choosing music to this show, and uh, well, of course I love music, but the show will be a lot more fun with some new energy and stuff. So that's what I'm doing right now, choosing some fun tunes, some good stuff here. So about to do my first run in New York because the weather is lovely, so I'm taking advantage. I got so much shit in my eyes when I was running, <coughs> it's really windy. I feel like a weirdo trying to flirt. So tonight I am uh, doing the first gig here at The Stand, which is uh, a really famous club in New York. So it's going to be really interesting. Uh, by far the best looking comedy club of the ones I've done so far. So here we are. This is the room. We'll see how many people that will show up for this open mic, but even a stage with a logo. I better do well this time. Give a big warm welcome for Martin Anderson, everybody. Yeah. Hello guys, you all well? Yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah, cool, cool. So I'm from a place that most Americans never heard of, uh, Europe. <laughs> I gotta say, this is the first time I'm wearing a roof as a hat. <laughs> and this, by the way, is the smallest catwalk I've ever seen. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm happy I'm filming this, by the way. And I went to a seminar here uh, that Laughing Buddha had, and it was depressing. One guy get, went up and just like killed everyone's dream like if you want to be a comic you need it in new york you need to work every day if you want you like weekends yeah fuck your weekends you work <laughs> every weekend and then he's just like you need to be working three gigs a week simultaneously it's really like if you can't clone yourself go fuck yourself that's how hard it is here so uh, thanks for listening guys have a good morning guys. That was a fun gig. Um, uh, some things worked, some things uh, didn't work as well. But what a nice, uh, really nice host. And uh, for the first time, I really felt welcome. And that it wasn't like a competitive vibe, uh, but rather a friendly vibe where people kind of appreciated someone coming, doing this in a second language. So thank you to the stand for having me. Um, this place, I, I definitely want to play again. And um, I still need to, to embrace the bombing, like when, when a joke does not fly and not excuse myself in saying that I'm shit, just, just deal with it.